Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to this week's episode of Random Behavior. Hood Chronicles. Woo! I'm Potter. I'm Jim. And today we'll be talking about... Gay. G-A-M-E. Bodan ass. What? <laughs> Wait, wait, okay, so why do you want to talk about the game for? Okay, so I want to spit some knowledge for the females. I mean, I roll with homies all day. By the way, parental advisory, explicit nature. My verbiage, straight cussing all the time like a truck driver. All the time. All the fucking time. Cover your ears. <laughs> Cover your motherfucking ears. Maybe. Okay, anyways. So game. Everybody thinks they got it, especially guys. <laughs> um, females... I think we're more consistent with the game. We're very subtle. Uh, we don't... I don't know. There's some aggressors out there. It depends. I mean, you can just... So, some of them just like to play games, though. Like, See, and that's the thing. There's playing games and running game. Okay, explain the difference. Playing games. Okay, so let's say I meet you. Hey, how you doing, Potter? Uh, so, uh... That's your mutual friend over there. That's Christy. You know Christy, right? Oh, yeah. I know Christy. I know Christy. Oh, well, Christy told me a lot about you. How you doing? What you doing tomorrow? You want to go out? All right. It's a lot forceful. <laughs> is that running game or is that playing games? Because totally, I'm not really interested in him. I'm just interested in him because he got two drinks in his hand and I want two drinks too. So are you playing games right now? You're just trying to get a free drink from me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a lot of girls tend to well, maybe some guys too but like i've i've done it where i've been hella drunk and the girl wanted to buy me a drink and i'm like all right if you want to buy me a drink just don't slip shit in there or whatever slip a mickey i get it but then there's also game as in interested as in running the game like hey nice to meet you my name is jing nice to meet you too so where are you from i'm from the bay Okay, me too. Well, I'm from San Francisco. Where from the Bay are you from? From the East Bay. Nice, nice. So do you come to San Francisco often? Most of the time, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So, I mean, how do you know such and such? Oh, uh, no, we went to school together and kind of had some mutual friends before that. How, how, how do you guys know each other? Oh, yeah, we have mutual friends too. So do you know Bobby too? Bobby from where? Bobby from Vallejo. What? <laughs> See, that's running... Not game as in playing a game. That's running game as in I'm trying to get to know you type of game. Like subtle type of game, you know? Let me set an example. I'm not going to say his name. Well, no. let me, let's just call him um, Stupid. <laughs> so, Stupid said he wanted to hang out with me. So, what Stupid did is, because he knows that I'm a casual drinker, you know, whatever, like to have fun. Calls me one day like, hey, Jing, check this out. I got a, I got a bottle for you. Okay, um, come by the mo. We'll hang out. All right, cute dude, fine as hell. But check this out. Got to the spot. Hey, so um, stupid. Where's my fucking <laughs> liquor? Oh, here you go. Gives it to me. Tell me why it's already open and drank. Why would you do that, bruh? Like this is the first time that he's met. I mean, this is not the first time we've hung out, but the second time around. So, first of all, he knows what I like to drink. Yeah. And he got me a bottle. But of that, but it was open. It was open, and he drank it halfway. What? And then, tell me why it was like some E&J or some shit. And this motherfucker knows I drink Hennessy. You're like, why the fuck? Wait, wait, no, no. You just said that he got you the drink that you he knows that you drink should have. should yes so technically the half open bottle should have been a hennessy bottle right not an e and j e and j bottles are for like the kids that do not want to pay hella money to drink it's like the cheap man drink uh yeah so this this nigga was like a yeah, cheap ass and second of all he drank it without you what the fuck why are you gonna say you got me a bottle and you already drank no, no, you know what? That sounds more like a, I have this bottle sitting on my counter. I'm going to bring this. You don't know if it's a fresh bottle. It could have been like an old ass bottle from like six months ago. <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> Ew, I didn't even think about that. Oh, and check this out. When I was like, um, I don't drink this. And you know what I drink. And it's already been open and drank. And you know what he said to me with his fine ass? Beggars can be choosers. Uh, <gasps> wow. <laughs> You kicked him to the curb, right? Motherfucker. Never answered his texts or calls after that. I don't give a fuck if you find this fuck, but you don't fuck. Uh, that's not running game. 
No. <laughs> that is some shit right there. <laughs> what the flying fuckery? Uh, who does that? Who does that? Who does that? Who tells you they buy you a bottle and drink it? And it's not even the liquor you like. And it's, it's probably not even a bo- bottle. It's probably like a... Oh, and check. Know. It wasn't a bottle. <laughs> it was a half of a pint. Tiny... T- t- wow. <laughs> you mean so So E&J is probably like... He spent technically $3. <laughs> Bruh. Like he... And he drank it halfway. <laughs> I don't know. What was his What was his reason behind it? He was just beggars can't be choosers. That's he's, it. That's the he's only just thing. A straight dick, like a fucking fucking asshole. Yeah. Never again did I wanted to see him ever. How long did he try to keep contact? Ever, ever. He he does till this day. He DMs me and all the shit. And for all you DMers out there, that's not running game. If you want to talk to me, you should be like, hey want to go out let's talk or give me your number why the fuck you hit me up on the dms though you should be a grown-ass man hook me up on the dms or there's another one some dude on facebook instant messages me and says i wanted to say hi to you because my friend has a crush on you no wait okay so you're so this person that's hitting you up is more of a wingman yes on social media yes because they can't be their own wingman by them, I mean, social media is a barrier as it as its own. Social media. Yeah. <laughs> like I was like, who the fuck is your friend, and why can't that grown ass man tell me he has a crush on me, his goddamn self? And then he said he finds you intimidating. I'm like, oh, okay, I understand. I can understand that too. You you can be pretty. Damn but I'm intimidating. so nice. Look at this face. <laughs> Until some nigga crosses you sideways and you're I all know, like... I know, oh my god. <laughs> he sees it all the time. All the time. By the way, he's my cousin. She's my oldest cousin. And it's like, the oldest one in our... How many of us are there? Yeah, like 20-some. Like, no, there's probably even more, more than yeah, that. Mm-hmm. But like, at least first line generation blood, blood, whatever. Yeah, whatever. we are blood related. Blood related. Blood, blood. Our parents are... <laughs> brother and sister just saying <laughs> uh, that reminds me of a conversation who was like how how do you guys know each other it's like oh we're related i was like like how it's like my my mom and his dad <laughs> are like siblings, siblings? <laughs> <laughs> i was like how else can you be, be related to each other it's like no nah, i i did a transfusion <laughs> <laughs> He needed like half a pint of blood to survive, so now we're blood related. We are blood related, just so you know. But we're completely polar opposites. We are. I know. I know. I mean, I'm kind of rough around the edges, and, and I'm I'm an asshole, goody two shoes. You say I'm an asshole too, but I just don't see it. I just call it being honest, and I'm being honest about these stupid ass motherfuckers trying to run game when they cannot. My pops told me how to run game. I'm like ten steps ahead of you, bro. How many, okay, how many other guys have... There was, okay, I'm not trying to say, like, I'm the finest person on earth or nothing like that, or I'm, you know, but on a weekly basis, I'm not even lying. There's always one person hitting me up. Always. Every week. It's and so it's a different new. person. It's, yeah, something new, or it's a consistent person, you know, and... I mean, why don't you just give them the chop and be like, nah, bro. So, you know what? The funny thing about it is that is that they're my actually a friend from like old years and years ago that all of a sudden wants to be like, I always had a crush on you and I always thought this and this and that about you and stuff like that. But yeah. and then they try to run the same ass weak ass game like, no, just be honest with me. I know you. I know you. Yeah. So, so why why try and run a game? Yeah, don't run game. Please. Especially if they know me, how you're going to be like. Yeah. Just be completely honest with me. Like, I like straightforward shit. I don't like no sugar coating or no... Beat around the bush. Or beat around the bush. Or even sweet talking. Don't sweet talk me. Because I I think that's kind of... Ooh, tell me an experience of some guy sweet talking you. Like, oh, hey, honey. Oh, my God. Did you fall from the sky? Oh, <laughs> you know, like, because you're an angel. Like, what the flying fuck? For real? That's that's like one of the oldest lines. That, that uh, that's not gonna warm my heart. Are you are you from? Was it? Are you from Tennessee? Cause you're the ten I see. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Don't don't run that kind of game on me. I'm not for the sweet talk. Just 
be real. Talk to me normal as a real human being. And especially if they've been friends with you for like for how a long, while. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The yeah. only thing that's different is like, well, now I'm gonna express my feelings to you, and things might change, and you might look at me a different way. It's like, nah, yeah, I'm gonna look at you a different way. But if I like you too. See, if I like you too, let me initiate the sweet talk. Don't do it first because you just sound like you just running weak ass game. It really, yeah, for real, for real. It, yeah. it, it really does. I've heard some of the stories that mm -hmm. that you that you've gone through. I, I'm totally not impressed by it either. You know, just I just like people just being outright blunt. Just be honest. Like, <sighs> there's some people that be out there like, hey, I want to fuck, and I'd be like. <laughs> and then be like, can I eat your cooch? I'm like, oh, where your mouth be? Everywhere. Everywhere. That's gross. That's no, nigga. So gross. <laughs> the, hey, there be some people out there like that, though, that be trying to do that stuff. I'm just saying, don't play like you don't, because you do. You talking about, like, regular folks that you don't know, or you talking about, like, friends? Friends, other people, people's people. Like, it's just crazy. Uh, and I, I've got the, I like your vibe, girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay which vibe is that because <clears throat> usually i mean i'm pretty a uh, decent nice person personable and all that stuff but like i can smell a foul rat a mile away i think i think i'm pretty good at uh, judge good uh um judge a character yes yeah that, yeah, 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 yeah. that because mm -hmm. a lot of them are just fake and then you find out later it's like wait you're not really being who you really are exactly i was like why weren't you like this in the beginning I yeah like, please don't run game fellas it's not cute just be real with a female and guys just uh, no touchy feely like no 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 oh i know a couple of people that were just talking about yeah. the whole touchy feely okay here's a question that i remember hearing if a guy was being touchy feely with you and you didn't like it how would you respond? Would you like, would you wait to get to slap the dude away or would you like tell him off? Like, no, I've had that done a couple times and I'll just be, I'll swear with him, like, uh uh, hell no. Oh, oh. <laughs> give me the heebie jeebies. Like, or I'll do, the, I'll do the stiff arm and just like, like, no. uh uh, no. Uh, yeah. all right, all right. I think that's part of the whole game stuff too. All of those little tidbits I feel are, is someone trying to run game or whatever. The, the better way to do it is just have casual conversation. I think, I mean, no more, no less. I think that's the best yeah, 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 yeah. bet, I feel. Because like, then I, you learn more about each other in a casual... The, it's like, I think I mentioned this in the previous uh, previous episode. It's like, people want to do like 20 questions. <clears throat> and they're all like, hey, okay, so, so ask me a question. And I'm like, nigga, why not ask you a question? You ask me a question <laughs> first. <laughs> Tell like, me a little bit about yourself. What do you want me to ask you? I was like, I don't know anything. I was like, why is the sky blue? I was like... <laughs> <laughs> why is the stuff in your belly button black? Because you all don't know how to... What the fuck is that sound? <laughs> <laughs> this is why it's Hood Chronicles, because we in the dark. It's the hood life. <laughs> I was like, it's, it's not gunfire, otherwise we'd be like ducking yeah, down. Yeah, <laughs> no. But, so, I mean, I don't know. I... I just want people to be real with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, I'm, okay, I'm 39. People think I'm like 21, 25. It's like, the Asian genes. I'm not Asian. I'm Filipino. <laughs> just saying. But I ain't, I ain't, no, I ain't from Asia. No, no, no. I'm American. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you ever corrected a person? They're all like... Hey, what's your nationality? Yes, I have. And I'm like, you mean ethnicity? Because nationality is American. No, I got. I had one person was all like, hey, what's your race? And I'm like, human. <laughs> <laughs> yes, human race. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, you're, you're, you know what I'm talking about. Your, your nationality. And I'm like, American. Yeah. You guys need to know the difference between nationality and ethnicity because they're two different things. Okay. Be, be smart. And was like, well, I'm Chinese. What are you? I was like, oh, we're going in that route? All right. I'm yeah. diluted Filipino. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I don't consider myself Asian. I say I'm Filipino, you know. I mean, nothing against Asians. and I'm just not Asian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's making that phone call? I swear. It's like, <laughs> it's like outside. We're like hearing all this weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's no one outside making a phone call. You be running game on people, huh? Uh, sometimes. I get... But I get pretty bored pretty quick.
quickly. <laughs> so do I, people. I do get bored hella fast. So if you cannot initiate a great conversation with me, you'll notice in my face that I am bored as fuck. I don't know if I if I give that same type of reaction with the with the facial expressions. I do. But you'll you'll see it probably more in the how I'm just like my tone of voice where I'm more of a I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> I don't run game. Maybe when I was like a kid, like you know, what's playing up? tag? Hey, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, what's up, hey, what's up, handsome? What's up, cutie? And all that bullshit. But now I'm just like, I'll call you handsome if you really handsome. If you ugly as fuck, I ain't gonna talk to you. Sorry. I know it's kind of shallow, but everyone has their own little yeah, yeah, yeah. attraction no, I, I towards get it. somebody and stuff like that. But I would never run game on you, fellas. Just saying, I'm really honest. That's um, good. Very, very honest. Too honest, maybe that's why it scares some people. I don't know. Because they think you're intimidating because you're too... I, I guess it's being blunt, <clears throat> right? And we all live, what, once? Unless you can figure out how to turn back time or hop through a portal or clone your fucking self. Oh, yeah. Then... I wish I could teleport. That would be so awesome. Fuck, yeah. Where would you go? I would fucking go into a bank. <laughs> hey, no, no. And get some dough first and then go like hop to the New Zealand or some or Tahiti and go to Bora Bora. I was hella thinking of that too. It was like if for, for a lot of people they'll be like, oh I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go here. I was like, honestly, the first thing I would probably do is like I'd explore how a bank works and then go into each one of them. Not just here in the US, right? Yeah. But like also like say I wanted to go to I don't know, England, right? I'll I'll port to England, figure out how their bank system works. So I have like currencies from every single ah <sighs> genius yeah right 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 <clears throat> so that way you have like your home base somewhere like i don't know some cave that no one can enter unless you pour it into it <laughs> off topic, <laughs> off topic. <laughs> hey, no, you started talking about teleportation and i was just like hey i mean would oh you my God. would you okay we're gonna go a little bit weird sideways like would you <laughs> would you impress someone like or would you try and impress them with like your little teleportation skills fuck yeah i'd be like hey you want to get some pizza in new york like right now right just now just bam boom reality five thou wow mm. Mm -hmm. yeah but you know that can probably like what is it backfire on you eventually maybe huh mm. <clears throat> then that, that, that's when you have to just teleport them to you know how, how about <laughs> if you didn't like them and you teleported them somewhere else like the date was going awful and you just teleported the motherfucker. Uh, bye bye. I feel like I have a guilty conscience though. I don't. Yeah. I don't. Okay, how do I say this? I don't. It's not that I don't feel bad, but when I do do things, I mean what I say and I say what I mean. I don't open my mouth unless I mean it. Yeah. And that just goes for any given situation. And there, there are people that can handle it and there are a bunch yeah, of people that are like people, super sensitive yeah and you know what i don't if you are gonna come around my way i don't take sensitive i'm sorry my, my my dad didn't raise me to be sensitive so i'm not sensitive people say i know jing you hella hard on the outside i know you a jelly bean inside no <laughs> jelly bean no fucking marshmallow yeah i mean <laughs> i'm i'm emotional yeah of course towards my family um loved ones People that are friends that I consider family, of course, yeah. But otherwise, no, because... I don't know you. And, you know, if you don't serve no purpose in my life to benefit my better being, yeah. then... If all you're going to do is just bring me down and be yeah, like some I'm toxic cool. relationship type yeah. whatever, mm -hmm. yeah, you got to go. Gots Teleport to go. them into the crater of like, <laughs> into the abyss, <laughs> Into the abyss of shit. Yeah. <laughs> what if you were just like, if you woke up in a big old pile of shit? Sometimes I want to toss people in piles of shits. That is gross. Because, I, you know, and you know what's funny is that... Some people actually like that, though. <laughs> you know, it's like... Like, they have oh videos. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've seen... I don't know why that would be interesting. There's, like, no nutrition in there. It's just... Shit. Shit is shit. Shit. It's gross. It's fucking gross. So, in regards to the GAME, a lot of guys think they have it talking to me, but you don't. 
<laughs> I mean, you really don't. You know, the funny thing about it is, is that I'm sorry, but I be telling my brother. I talk to my brother. My brother knows everything. I talk to my brother and our co close cousins, and we just laugh all about it. It's fucking hilarious. After drinking, like, how many bottles of Hennessy? Not, not, even, not even having to drink. Like, maybe starting off sober, yeah. and then eventually having, like, what? 20 bottles. <laughs> we be cracking jokes. I mean, for all the people out there that don't try to run game on any of us, like, we've talked about you. Yes, we have. It's like how the women talk to each other in their own mm -hmm. women. Is, there, is that an actual thing? We, 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 we're over there roasting you. We are. I mean, but, you know, it's, it's all good because you did it to yourself. That's true. But then what's funny is if they end up back in the picture, we know all the stories. And we're uh -huh. like, and then we're because like, sometimes there'll be second chances and shit to, get it, to redeem yourself. But if you fail, then the joke is on me because I let you come through again. Yes. And then you will not hear it. Like, you will not hear the end from yeah. us because we will just be clowning you as much yeah. as possible. Yeah. If all, uh, one, t one day we're going to take Hood Chronicles out of the whip and yeah. take it to the inside so you can be a witness to the laughter. Oh, uh, that would be interesting. Wouldn't it, though? Yeah. I got to yeah. make sure I got better equipment. Yeah. <laughs> going to mm. upgrade all the audio. But also... Because this is also like an audio version too. How would we? How would they be able to see what's going on? They only be able to hear things. They, it's fine. Leave it to the imagination, like audiobooks. Oh yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. You'd be like, wait, what just happened? Something just fell. Right? I was like, oh, I gotta find the. Oh, they, can't see, they can't see Joe Doom dancing and shit. No, no, no. oh, that would be <laughs> so funny. Just seeing all yeah. the cousins out. No, you know what we do? Okay, so so on um some weekends we have this thing called church. So, okay, so we, we throw barbecues all the time. All of us cousins meet up. All my cousins come from dr afar, drive hella far to come to the city to do barbecue. And, mind you, it's BYOS. Bring your own motherfucking steak. Bring um, your own motherfucking shit. Bring yeah, your yeah. own liquor. Bring all your own shit. You cook your shit. You eat your shit. But we do share. Yep, yep. We, you know, um, my cousin AJ brought lobster tails one time. He, like, out. He outdid us. He won up everybody. It he was did. great. He you did you made you made them. Um, what is that? That uh, potatoes. I something. made a shrimp boil. Oh, that's what it was. I made a big ass tray because I don't know how to cook for little. <laughs> I, <don't, laughs> I cook in bulk, and that shit was gone. I couldn't. I didn't even get to eat it. I bring the weirdest shit. I brought a cake once that we put yeah. on the grill. <laughs> we put the cake on the grill. Yes, we did. Yes, we hey, did. Hey, that was hella good though. It was really really good. It tasted like burnt s'mores. It yes it 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 a hey, it. We even put donuts on the grill. Oh, yeah, we did that do that. That shit tastes like a fucking churro. I didn't get to try it that. It was fucking delicious. But, yeah, so, you know, um, you know how people congregate at church. So, we call it church. You know, other people call church church for their own apparent reasons. But we call our barbecue sessions church. church. Um yeah, and it's a family thing, and we do invite friends, close friends, if you want to come through. Um, but you have to bring your own shit, because I'm cooking for you. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some people may have extras or whatever, but that's yeah. usually like with the aunties and them, where they mm -hmm. come out. It's like, hey, I heard you have an extra steak. And I'm like, don't have an extra steak, but sure, you can have part of mine. Mm -hmm. That's fine, that's fine. And in our church sessions, we do this, we talk about random stuff yeah, all yeah. the time we bring it back to when we were younger we bring it back to the present we talk about who we deal with in life what we're dealing with in life there's ups and downs there's arguments of course all the time with the people always, you love always. but we always come back to this we do we do all the time so this random behavior stuff is always random it's behavior. always random <laughs> always and then random. sometimes you'll just hear the same you'll hear the same story yeah because we're drunk yeah <laughs> it was like like, the sober ones, like, lately I couldn't really drink. And I'm just like, yeah. I swear we just heard this, like, 10 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it'd be sometimes redundant, but yet we still enjoy each other's company. So this Hood Chronicles, the only reason why we call it Hood Chronicles is because my foul mouth. Like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, versus his other episodes where his guests were like not nicer, abundantly yeah. cussing like me. But this is just who I am, what I am. I'm like this at home. I talk to... This is like in the house. So one of my homies was like, this is how you talk at home? And I was like, uh, yeah, this is the way I fucking talk at home. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so it'd be like that. 
Hey, that'd be cool though. Like we do like an episode of church as a random behavior. Episode. That would be that great. would be actually pretty and, fun. And we always have like a karaoke night. Oh, well, it's gosh. not really karaoke, but we play slaps on the um on the block rocker and we all sing to it. We oh, all sing. That might be a little yeah. bit harder because you know you got the yeah. YouTube monetization type stuff. Yeah, we all you're... sing together, we laugh together, cry together, and all this stuff. <laughs> um, this hood chronicles is actually dedicated to Shannon. Oh yeah, our cousin. Yeah, and because she. Is a hood bitch too. She is. She is. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we dedicate this hood chronicles to you, Shannon. Shannon. And there's more coming. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have like more of the family out here doing this. I've, they all been saying that they want to do an episode yeah. too, so that'll be pretty fun. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. All right. Awesome. Well, you've been tuned into this week's episode of Random Behavior. Hood Chronicles. Hood Chronicles. <laughs> <laughs> Catch us again next time.